Let's convert this Dell Optiplex Office PC into a gaming PC. So we're going to swap the case on this Dell Optiplex small form factor PC and add a full size graphics card in. Before we could only add low profile graphics cards in, which usually cost more and are less powerful. Let's first remove the old PSU. I still have the old Flex PSU installed, so I'm going to remove that. But if you have the normal PSU, you just unscrew it and then slide it out. Then we remove and unplug the disk drive and the power connectors, and then we can unscrew and remove the motherboard and the CPU cooler. Now we need to attach a new CPU cooler, but because I don't have a backplace, Plate, I'm going to use a cooler with these clips to hold it in place. We need to remove the pre-installed motherboard standoffs and then I'll place the motherboard in the case with the GPU and mark out where the screw holes are. Now I'm going to drill new holes and place our standoffs in those holes. The USB to USB header cables now need to be plugged in before we can screw in our motherboard. Then we can attach our SSD with the original SATA cable. Our new GPU, the RTX 2070 Super, can then be plugged in alongside our new power supply. Now we just need to wire everything up including a 24 pin to 6 pin power adapter, 4 pin CPU connector and PCIe power connector for the GPU. Our fans, RGB hub and front panel USBs need to be connected and then the power button goes into the two furthest right pins vertically. Now we can turn on the PC to test it and it works well aside from the warning message because we don't have something connected to the original Dell power button pins. But once we skip past that part our PC works great. The power button, LEDs and USB ports all work. Although the front panel audio and reset button are not connected so they won't work.